Okay, here we are with a question about combustion. Okay, we're burning hexane. So we're trying to find an enthalpy of combustion, an enthalpy of combustion of hexane. That means we're finding the energy for this reaction. Always a good idea to start off by figuring out what it is you are trying to find. So we've got 12, uh, 19. So there's our balanced chemical equation. So we're trying to find the enthalpy change for this. Okay, and if you think about what's going on, if we're burning stuff, we're burning hexane, the flame produced is heating a certain volume of water. So that means we can use Q equals MC delta T to find out how much heat energy went into raising the temperature of the water. So the mass of the water. Well, we're not given a mass of water, we're given a volume of water. And we know that if we have 200 cc's of water, it equals 200 grams and that's because the density of water is equal to 1.00 grams per cubic centimeter. There's, there's one of our assumptions. We're assuming our water is pure and its density is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. So that means 200 cc's is equal to 200 grams. Uh, water well, it, we're using water, the specific heat capacity of water is 4.18 joules per gram per Kelvin. So we'll use that here. And we want to know what our temperature change is. Well, temperature change is equal to the maximum temperature subtract the minimum temperature, which gives us temperature change 51.6 so if we multiply out we end up with 43,100 joules I'm giving just three sig figs there um, because I've got three sig figs here and here and here but I'll keep the value on my calculator for use later on um, okay, so that's the amount of energy that was released when we combusted or when we burned 1.00 grams of hexane. The enthalpy change of combustion, though, is per mole of hexane. So we need to find out, first of all, how many moles of hexane we have. The moles of hexane is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass and the molar mass of C6H14 using the IB periodic table is 86.20. If we work out that we get again I'm just giving three sig figs here 0 0.0116 moles. Let's get that out of the way. So if we know energy, heat, and we know the number of moles, we can find the delta H value. So delta H of combustion is equal to, well first of all, remember that this energy has been released or emitted, okay, and it's an enthalpy of combustion, so we must make the enthalpy change negative, and so that now then will be 43,100 divided by a number of moles and that gives me again just giving three sig figs I get that many joules which converting to kilojoules gives me 3,720 kilojoules um, not a bad idea here to also pop that into scientific notation to illustrate 
how many sig figs we've got. So we could go 3.72 times 10 to the power of 3 kilojoules per mole. Oop. And it's of course negative. There's our enthalpy change of combustion of hexane. Thank you.